right, so today I'm going to be talking about uh, private servers, World of Warcraft private servers, and how do I record my uh, my videos, what some of you guys were asking. And I found this little program called Cam Studio, which is completely free. You can just search in uh, Cam Studio on Google, and it'll appear like maybe the first link or so. Um, this is it's completely free, but it doesn't like record really really great but it's great for for free you know it's open source it's completely free so yeah, it's good for that and the only reason why I use Camp Studio is because Fraps is the program I use to record my games and Fraps doesn't record your desktop at least I don't think it does like I tried it and doesn't want to cooperate at all so to do uh to play private servers on World of Warcraft you have to find this file in your World of Warcraft folder called uh, realmless.wtf. You can find realmless.wtf in uh, your World of Warcraft folder. You cl you double click your World of Warcraft folder and then click data and then US, ENUS. Well, this is only if you live in the US, ENUS, and then it will pop up somewhere near the bottom. To play World of Warcraft for free, uh, you would have to join a private server and there's multiple servers you can join like this is the top list of Warcraft games or servers and the top one is usually an advertisement don't click that one they're just advertising it doesn't mean it has the most players in it but the top one right now is World of Warcraft Legacy and World of Warcraft Legacy has a mid rate which is just like regular World of Warcraft a low rate which is like World of Warcraft but it's you level slower which I don't know why would you do that but and then it has a battleground server which is strictly battlegrounds really fun and I'll show you some footage of that later and it has a lot of bugs compared to the regular World of Warcraft because in the regular World of Warcraft you're playing you're paying for quality games and you're paying for them to make sure that the service is up today every day like every Tuesday they they check on it so and and the private servers they have a couple GMs and admins to make sure no one's cursing too much or harassing people but they don't really pay attention to the glitch as much you know and in Wild Legacy what you have to do you have to create an account you have to register and then after you register you have to go to your email and confirm it and in these servers you, there will be a button to connect and you just highlight where it says set realm list and the IP or the website and then go to your sub realm list uh, file in your World of Warcraft folder which I have made a shortcut on my desktop you could just copy paste it and it would you save it and next time you start up your World of Warcraft, your game will be connected to the private server instead of the original server. And this server that I'm showing right now is uh, World of Warcraft Storm or something like that. Storm Rival World of Warcraft. This server is the best private server I've ever seen. But there hasn't, there's not that much people playing. There's always like, at night time there's always like 20 Horde and 20 Alliance playing. But during the afternoon, maybe like 50. The highest I've ever seen is 70 and 80. The only real problem with this server that I that I've seen yet is the donor gear. The donor gear in this game kind of ruins it, cause if people donate just for the hell of it, just to help out the server, they would get points, or they can get marks for several battlegrounds, or even armor or tier eight or whatever they want from the server, and everything else is overpowered compared to what you do receive normally. 